Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. This is my Vestas V162 and Ventus wind turbine. It's finally complete. Now this ended up taking a little bit longer than it should have. I had a few uh, issues arise while I was making it, but now it's uh, finally complete. And you'll notice right away that it is not um, powered or anything like that. It is simply moving under its own momentum. So I guess it will stop spinning and uh, there is one blade that's a little bit heavier, so it's not gonna sit just right. But that's just kind of uh, how it is. I can't really think of any good way to balance the blades on this. Um, not really a whole lot of room to do anything like that, so... I mean, it's fine when it's standing still, and if I have any sort of uh, breeze on it, then it will spin. But right now, it'll just oscillate back and forth until it... Uh, stops completely, but let's just uh, ignore that for a moment and take a look at the turbine. So this is an HO scale, so it would um, be the correct scale. It would look really interesting on a model railroad. However, uh, given the size of this, it would probably um, be a little overbearing, but that's how big they are. Um, don't really have a whole bunch to say on this turbine other than the main reason for me uh, wanting to build this one is because a wind farm about an hour's drive from here uh, recently got some Vestas V162 turbines and I wanted to uh, print out something from a local wind farm because we don't have anything um, Entercon here so I went ahead and made this turbine. I do think it turned out pretty nicely. I do think the blades are a little bit uh, wonky on this, but I'm not going to redo it, uh, not if I don't have to, and I, it looks good enough as is. So you're seeing now it's just kind of, uh, just about reached that point, it's still going a little bit, but yeah, that's, that's kind of the, kind of the main overview of the turbine. I'll go ahead and, uh, get a little bit closer to it here, so you can see some of the actual details and I'll go from there. All right, so let's start at the bottom. Uh, the base is uh, some sort of decorative plate that was found at a thrift store. Um, nice big um, round base that's plenty sturdy for this, I think. Um, but here you can see the um, door with the little steps to go up to it. Um, I think that looks pretty neat. And then the tower is made up of seven sections that um, get slightly wider as you go to the bottom, but you can't really tell. And up here we have the nacelle, which is a very long and thin nacelle, which is something I really like about these, uh, these turbines. I think that looks really quite neat. And now there is some more going on with the nacelle, However, it's going to be really hard to reach that, so I'm actually going to take off the blades uh, to get a closer view. So the blades have been removed. Now you can see the nacelle. You can see the, one of the bearings inside. Now obviously this is uh, split. So, um, on the outside, you have the little uh, vent piece on the back. And then the uh, radiator as well, which is made up of a few different pieces that are painted different colors. And a little uh, few pieces here that stick out to match the uh, hub. Then on the bottom of the nacelle, you have some of the um, details on the bottom. I'm not entirely sure what these are, but. There, there they are, and then the um, door at the back of the turbine is there as well. Now with this turbine, I can take off this lid. And inside, you'll see there's not really a whole lot, a lot of empty space, but what I can do is remove this little access door. And then you can see straight through the turbine. So I can actually, um, if I want, I could hang a little rope through this. 
So that's the nacelle. So I'll go ahead and put the uh, blade back on and we can take a look at those. So here's the blade, just like the other turbine. The blades are held on by screws. And given the size of the hub, this is uh, really difficult to tighten these screws, but they are, this is about my limit as far as that goes. So I can put this back on. There's an, a spacer that keeps it from getting too close to the hub or from the nacelle so it doesn't scrape, but it will hit the walls. So the hub is pretty nice. I think that turned out pretty well. The blades are made out of uh, four pieces. Very, very long and thin. Um, and of course they can be pitched. You can kind of see the difference here. If I have one blade pitched, you can tell. So, you can of course do that for all the blades. And then there's how the turbine looks uh, turned off, so to speak. Now, of course, the balance is all shifted because I didn't turn them all the same amount, but that's the uh, Vestas V162 I made. It's a very, uh, I think it'll turn out pretty well. I do have some uh, video of outside, but just given the scale of this turbine, it's pretty hard to do. Um, it's really, really quite large. So um, with that said, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for watching and bye for now.